Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Aries for the week starting the 1st of July. Oh my goodness, what a week. There is so much going on. I can't possibly take you through it word for word, but I'm going to give you a powerful overview and how you can use the intensity of this week to enhance your life. Right, I'm going to have to look at the bit of paper to tell you exactly what's going on because it is extreme. Firstly, on the first, we have a grand water trine with Sun and Jupiter conjunct and also trining Saturn and trining Neptune. Then we have a kite on the first also and a T-square. On the fifth, we have a yod and we have on the seventh, a triple grand water and air trine. And then on the seventh, a triple kite. Suffice to say... This month is the most extreme astrological month that I've ever seen in my history as an astrologer that I can remember. And this week is the beginning of the intensity. Prepare to have your soul rocked, for your being to be wide open to learn some fundamental lessons about your life. And your job is to come through it, to be honest with yourself, to look yourself straight in the eye and release some of your patterns and free yourself once and for all to evolve into a brighter being. We're asked to look at, because I'm an Aries too, our family relationships, our home, what that means to us in terms of our karma and our personal growth, and also situations involving passion, hunger, obsession, and on top of that, our spirituality and our higher being. If you look at your life now and you imagine that you're 110 and you're gazing back over your life and you're thinking about where you are when you're the age you are now, how would you reflect on your life? And if you were that wise 110 year old, what would you be saying to yourself? Would you be saying, great, I wish at X age, I had woken up to certain facts and transformed and healed this, that or the other. Try and speak to your elder self and come up with the wisdom that you need. In fact, you might not even need to do that because the universe is going to scream it in your ear this week. Something is going to occur that is opening you up to what you need to change. And it's probably going to be an emotional and primal week. But at the end of it, if you handle it with love and compassion and love and compassion for yourself, you're likely to be released from something. Now, don't forget, it's a triple kite, which is going to elevate you above whatever your deepest karmic wounds are, your deepest patterns are, which are likely to be around family, home, status. And you have the key being given to you, dropped from the sky. However, you know what it's like. It's when, when you uncover truth, you can never go back. So you're being called upon to be the very brave warrior Aries that you are this week. Be a warrior of love. Be a warrior of compassion for yourself and others. And open up to the truth of your being. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.